Welcome to part three of our series on how to bring Google AI, known as Dialogflow, to your ManyChat bot and make your bot smarter. And what we did in episode one was we showed you that you could uh, use Google's AI to understand what your users are saying when they message you and then be able to trigger responses uh, with Google. Uh, so a simple message like, hey there, uh, would trigger a response like this, which comes from Google. In episode two, I showed you that you could uh, send a message uh, like, uh, I need a backpack and uh, use the AI to understand what the user intended, but then respond with ManyChat. Uh, so we call those flow redirects, and you're able to redirect uh, your responses to ManyChat. Now, let's say the user sends a message like this. Can you ship to Canada? And you'll see here that we're going to get a response. Yes, we ship to Canada. And let's say a user asks, can you ship to India? And you'll also get a response back, but it's different. No, we don't ship to India, unfortunately. So let me explain what's going on here. Uh, in our message, you'll see that uh, I included Canada, a country. And in the second message, I included India. Uh, and it could have been any country uh, other than Canada. But Dialogflow understands that Canada and India are countries. And this is what we call entities. And entities allow you to extract values out of messages that you receive from your users. Values could be numbers, it could be currency, it could be a date range. So if you're building a travel bot, you might capture when a user wants to go away with a random date range and then be able to respond intelligently using AI. In this case, our set of values are countries. And uh, let me show you how that works. Uh, if we go to an intent that we've set up here called delivery support, you'll see here that I've added a training phrase, do you ship to Canada? And Canada is highlighted. I could add similar training phrases like this, will you ship to Canada? And you'll see that it's highlighted, and we have what's here as an entity. And this is built right into Dialogflow. It's called the Geo Country. And you can add any country, it doesn't have to be Canada. Um, I need this ship to China. And you'll see that Dialogflow recognized that China is a country as well. So you'll see here. Uh, geo-country and you'll also see that the entity is here and we have a parameter called geo-country. If I scroll down a little further you'll see that we have a redirect to a many chat flow and that's going to be our response to any of these training phrases. Uh, so why don't we go save this and uh, let's jump over to many chat right now. And you'll see here that I have a flow created and the starting step uh, will have some conditional logic. And let's click that. And you can see that this custom field would need to match with the parameter name for the entity in Dialogflow. So when you add a training phrase and Dialogflow recognizes words in your phrases as entities, then it will automatically add the entity down here in the actions and parameters section. And it will add the parameter name right here, right next to the entity. In this entity, the parameter name is GeoCountry. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to create your custom fields so that they map to dialogue flow parameter names. In order to get parameter names from Dialogflow for these built-in entities like the geo country entity, you can refer to this list here. And I'll include this link to, uh, to the list in the video description. And as you can see, an entity might be something like at sys.date. That's for a date entity. So if the user says, 
Uh, I need this shipped by tomorrow. Um, and the parameter name here is just date, right? Anything after the at sys dot. So you would use date for your custom field in ManyChat so that it matches with the dialog flow parameter name. You can use any of dialog flows built in entities and you can also create your own entities. So you just click entities here and you'll see that I've created one called uh, sizes and you'll see that we have uh, large, medium and small and you can also uh, create synonyms. So if a user says, you know, I need a size L or do you have an M or an S for small? So uh, this is really a great way uh, for you to take advantage of Google's AI to extract values instead of creating training phrases uh, for uh, every country or um, every value. You just need to create uh, an entity to extract those values uh, from the message. Thanks for watching.